Leveling up in Sea of Thieves factions is hard, trust me, I've been there. People class the Reaper's Bones as being the easiest faction to level up as you can sell every item of loot to them. But that creates a hard barrier when you need to level up this faction, as the higher the level you get, the harder the grind becomes, and getting to level 20, 30, or even 50 seems impossible to some of us. This becomes boring as repetitiveness and grinding is a challenge. If only there was a fun and easy way to level up this faction, as well as getting heaps of bonuses and gold out of the same strategy. Well, I'm Emma Munger, and I'll be helping out today. So I'm already level 75 in the Reapers faction, and this strategy got me from level 50 to 75 in under a few short days. And for some reason, nobody talks about this strategy. Now it would be hard to show this leveling up process on a maxed account, so I've created Gus here to demonstrate how easy the level grinding is. So first, after Gus completed the Maiden Voyage, you want to head to the Hourglass on your Voyage table. Don't be scared as I'll get into what to do later. Having a Reapers emissary will be great for this, but unfortunately not everyone has one, including Gus. But that just means you'll miss out on some of the extra gold and rewards that comes with the strategy. Now after voting up your hourglass on the voyage table and heading to the war map to dive under the water, Gus waits for his first battle. Although Gus is pretty decent at PvP, you guys may not be, so to make it a bit better, Gus for some reason has been put on a solid 500 ping for the majority of this first half of the video. Don't ask why, to show that everyone can do PvP. Now Gus's first fight was against a pretty average individual, but being on a high ping and the other person boarding a ship, it was an instant loss for Gus. But at last, we continue to the next fight, where Gus versus someone who isn't very good at the game, and once the person boards his boat, to which he doesn't allow them to, the person's ship had crashed into an island and ultimately sunk. So now Gus had leveled up in the factions, and wow, that's a lot of levels for one win. But Gus went to more, and went in for another fight. Yeah, it didn't go so well. Now that Gus's ping was back to normal where he could play to his full potential, first game was against an absolute loser of a player. This guy would get hit with one cannonball and immediately sail to the other side of the map. I chased this guy for over 30 minutes trying to beat him, and after he ran out of supplies he wanted a duel, and I accepted because I was so fed up with this guy. But while I was waiting for him, he boarded my ship with a keg and killed both of us. Luckily when I came back my ship was still alive and I could get some easy shots on this guy's ship and he ultimately sank. Now I versed this guy once again and with a fresh restock of chain shots I was able to get down his mast. Unfortunately he recovered but I wasn't letting this guy get away again. I then boarded his ship and spawn camped him until his ship ultimately sunk. Now I bet this guy two times in a row now and my levels were skyrocketing in Reapers. I mean I was already a fifth of the way to level 50. So I went for one last match, and this arguably was the best match I've ever had, sinking this guy in under one minute. So now you know exactly how to live up in Reapers the fastest way possible, as well as getting better at PvP and getting heaps of gold. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you like the PvP in this video, then the video on the screen is just for you.